Were you enjoying a perfectly nice Sunday until Todd Gurley showed up? Does part of you just want to rip your face off this fantasy season? Smile, people. You know you can't live without the torture. If you weren't too busy this weekend working out in a Michael Myers costume, and if you weren't one of the five people who stayed awake for that baseball game only to turn into a f***ing zombie the next day, chances are you caught some football. And if you caught some football, there's a good chance that something got you spooked. <laughs> So to honor that wonderful time of year where Mitch Trubisky looks just like Mike Ditka and girls look just like your typical baseball player or NFL sideline official to haunt their parents' nightmares forever, let's run through the scariest things that could have possibly happened to your squad this weekend. Number four, Tyreek Hill has been a monster this season in fantasy. So when he went down with a groin injury Sunday, people were scared. Fortunately, the injury doesn't sound too serious, considering the reports and the fact that Hill celebrated the win in an inflatable sumo costume. Number three, if you didn't catch Jameis Winston's performance on Sunday, you're one of the lucky ones. Cause dude threw four picks. We can't show you the footage of the actual throws, but trust me, it looked like this. Number two, sadly, it's time to let go of Houston's Will Fuller who left Thursday's game with a torn ACL. Oh, that was my reaction too. Cause guy was a beast this season. RIP. The number one fantasy nightmare this week and every week is owning Le'Veon Bell. Here's Johnny. We still don't know when he'll be back from the third circle of fantasy hell, but once he is, there is no chance he gets feature back work with James Conner eating into his production. The good news is there's still time to claw your way back to the playoffs. Here to help you is a fantasy expert with serial killer good looks, who's actually a really nice guy. Look, I, I don't know when Le'Veon Bell's coming back. No, nobody knows, but don't go trading James Conner. Look, his production's not gonna be where it was as he's been running solo, but good healthy running backs are a dying breed. So Conner is just as strong of a fantasy asset as Lev Bell. The Carolina Panthers just kicked the NFL's best defense right in the teeth. But you know who the surprise contributor was? Rookie DJ Moore. He had 90 receiving yards and 39 rushing yards. You're not gonna find many guys who will do both on a consistent basis. With the Panthers offense starting to cook and more a legit threat, you should probably go pick him up. Everyone who talks about handcuffing running backs when you draft teams in August is wrong. That is a sure way to waste a pick. But now is the time to actually start handcuffing these backs. In case you haven't noticed, running backs are constantly getting hurt. And they'll keep getting hurt as the touches add up. So go grab some of these backups for upside in the second half of the season. Thanks, Matt. Stay safe out there this Halloween. And remember, if you're looking for a last minute costume idea, there's always this or this or Batman. Stop committing crimes.